going on, everyone? Welcome back to episode 16 of your favorite podcast, the number one beer league podcast for Flint, Michigan. This is Toon Talk. I'm Connor. Garrett's drinking some tea because he's got a sore throat. Tim, Uh-oh. Tim, yeah, we're going to have to carry the show again, Tim. It is what it is. It's, it's a curse. Not even a curse. It's just punishment from the hockey gods from my performance on uh, Sunday. So I feel like shit. Everything's just sitting right here. But the show must go on, so I'm here. We appreciate you playing through it. That means a lot to our fans, hey, I'm sure. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Man. Yeah, I'm sure. I know we'll get into it a little bit later, but uh, we had several several of our guys not play through this week. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll get into it. I'm sure. How yep. you doing? How you doing tonight, Tim? How are you feeling after? I'm doing. Last doing night. great. Um, finally, I think I'm finally back 100. percent A couple weeks ago I was a little under the weather, but. I think I'm finally back. Wait, hold up. What? So didn't you score like two weeks ago? Yeah, I was under the weather. You oh okay. You scored when you were sick. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the way you but played this week, maybe good. the way you played this week, maybe you should just go back to being sick. Duh. Hey, I got a point this week. Oh my god. The fact that we had the fact that I had to give you a point for that is honestly infuriating. I would have taken the goal away from myself if it meant taking the assist away from you because that was hey, that I can do that. Oh, well, don't you know, you don't have to do that. That's okay. Oh, okay. okay, That's okay. That's okay. okay. Uh, Here we go. Me versus the world. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So here we go. Another, (sighs) another tough loss. I mean, we'll get into it, you know, with our. I think the more interesting discussion about this game was how many guys we had and how many guys we didn't, but we were a little short benched, especially in the, uh, I think I uh, phrased it as a certain type of player. A lot of a certain type of players were missing players like Tyler and Dan and John and Jake Brown and reader So, yeah, some of our better skaters, some of our better passers and shooters, and John. Well, and our chirpers. Yep, and our definitely our chirpers. Our better Um, chirpers. We decided. I think we're kind of missing the dragon shirt. We're yeah, de- yeah, we're definitely missing the we're dragon. Definitely missing the dragon. I think this is three three weeks in a row without any Doctor Dragon. It's been probably about oh, a month. Boy. I was say I think. Yeah, probably three weeks yeah. plus opening day. Yeah, obviously we didn't have yeah. a game on opening day, so yeah, it's been probably over a month since I've Shit, seen. Maybe more than that, because when was the Notre Dame? Then we'll we'll go back and look at it. We'll figure That's, it out. Yeah, it's John. It's getting it's getting dicey for Doctor. But we're, hey, we're doing a call hey. out for John. He's got to show we up. Already know. No, it's we okay. He paid. Know. He paid. Actually, yeah. Yep. Think about he paid. He paid. John, you're he fine. Paid. You stay. You 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 do what you have to do. You paid. Yeah. Um. Keep sending those checks. Yeah. Keep sending those checks. Yeah. Uh, we, since we had some of our better players out, we decided that we would replace them with Adam, who is an extremely competent player. So shout out Adam for coming in and filling in again when we needed him. Rostered, competent yep, player. He is rostered. Yep. And uh, Ben, uh, a goalie who wanted to skate out. So we're like, yeah, let's have Ben skate out. And he just texted sure. me. He texted me like 10 minutes before the show. He just watched the highlight video that, uh, that we put out. And he goes, wait a minute, I was plus zero. I wasn't minus on the night. And I go, I, I don't know, dude. I wasn't keeping track of that. He goes, I don't think I was out there for any of the goals. I was like, well, you know who was the fuck up. out there the fuck for up. a few of the goals. Was that you? Uh, no, sir. I believe it was you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it was, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Yeah. It was me. Oh, well, I was out there a lot. We only had 11 guys. I was out yeah. there a lot. I mean, everybody was out there a lot. So. <laughs> Well, all I know is two thirds of the podcast had a point. Yeah, that's right, Tim. Yeah. That's right, Tim. And the other hey, third of the podcast, the third, got, he got the some hardware. The dong goblet. So, yeah, he got some hardware. That's right. Oh, well, I don't know. One, man. I don't know I'll what happened. What. I don't know what happened to Garrett Saturday night at our family Christmas party. But whatever he drank or whatever he ate, I think he, I think he think it turned him into like Nicholas Backstrom or Leon Dreisaitl because he was trying to throw sauce from like the corner in front of the net over three of their guys stick and landed on Phil's stick, which eventually uh, I'll tell you led what, to a goal. That one, that, and that, that was hundred percent my fault. And that's definitely like, if, if not the reason, definitely the biggest reason I got the goblet, but it came off the toe of my stick. I saw it's exactly what I was trying to do. 
Oh but my came God. Off you were the trying to sauce it over three guys to fill. It was like two and a half. Oh my God. I was standing in the slot wide open. I was like, all right, he's got me. Then I watched the puck just go right yeah. across the ice. Their guy picked it up. Take the tape, end to end. baby. Take yeah, the tape with one of their guys. <laughs> yeah. And then I was, I was not at my A game. On yeah. Us. And then yeah. you you got the puck at the blue line, like cut to the middle and had a wide open shot from the slot. And you were like, nah, you know what? backhand sauce to Adam along the boards that's the play hey, to set up that sweet one t so I was even on that shit oh yeah what that, that made the highlight video not the yeah. uh the, the backhand sauce on the blue line yeah I was trying to cut the highlight video down I was tired of watching our shitty play again yeah which was probably mostly mine yeah it was, it was, I call it, it how was, it is yeah there was a lot out there it was yeah. it was an it was an ugly game like I yeah. said short another short another short bench week uh yeah, this is, is why our GM picked up so many bodies this year. Yeah, you know? that's that's true. That's We're true. pulling guys from the practice squad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of looking at the point totals, Connor. You, you took uh, you tied Tyler. Yeah, yeah. He had me. He had me for a couple of weeks. I was a little uh, had a couple of little slow slow weeks, but uh, picked it back up. Decided to take advantage of him not being out of or him being out of the lineup and got one time. goal. The yeah, last yeah, minute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I scored a Tim goal against CNS. What else? Yeah. Well, um, I don't know. Do you think uh, Dan's here in footsteps as well? I was, you know, Tim, when I was doing the uh, when I was putting this little uh, when I was putting this slide together and doing the stats, I I saw I thought, wow, Timmy, two goals, eight points, four behind Dan. He's solidly in fourth place in scoring on the team. I yeah. mean, I don't know. I don't think anybody would have slotted Tim for fourth in points at Chris at, at the Christmas break. Yeah, he's got a history of it. No, no, no. I, I think, think, I, think start, I will say, I will say, I think having Brown be injured for like eight games probably helps Tim a little bit. I think Brown yeah. might be a might because I think yeah he had five you get five points. I think he played four <laughs> games. The first like three games. Yeah. yeah. So uh I will take that into consideration a little bit. But still it's a solid yeah. little uh solid little season from your boy. Yeah we're uh I don't know what the pot we're three for three on calling people out on the podcast. And it's time I know we gave him an official warning last week but I think we have to officially call out Craig. Craig it's, been, points. it's been Craig's on notice. 13 games. He's played in 12 of them and he has no points. I mean, we've, we, 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 we've gone over this Bray, oh. our goalie skated out once and has a point. Hot take, man. Hot take. Bray's going to be there. I, yeah. It just, <laughs> John has two points. <laughs> I just, and I know he plays defense, and I know it's sometimes a little tough to get points on defense. That's but, true. But hey, 12 games. He, I'll tell you what. If he keeps making those shots like he did at the end of the second period and I'm on the ice, I'll get him an assist. That was that was a nice little tip. A nice yeah, little tip. I just got to, you know, two inches to the right, would have had it. Nice little tip. But, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, I, I think we, like you said, Tim, we gave him a warning. We gave him a chance. Shit, we gave him 12 chances. Mm, and sure. – we're at, we're, we're at the Christmas break. There's a big goose egg on the score sheet by his name, and that needs to change. If that doesn't change, Craig, we'll be making some changes. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to play again next year and you want to pay, which is fine. Which, yeah, in, exactly. which, in, in which case, you're welcome yeah. back. Yeah. But you might have a spot right next to Tavis on the back of the that's, bench. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Equipment manager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to promote Tavis and bump Craig down to equipment manager. Yeah. Make him carry the sticks and the water bottles. <laughs> Let Tavis carry the clipboard. <laughs> I will say Reader did step up last game too. He came, supported the team, and he was carrying sticks. And he, yeah. yeah, he hung out after, even though he didn't play. He said he had the worst case yeah. of FOMO. And I was like, dude, that you're literally living my worst nightmare right now. Like yeah. not being able to play hockey in the middle of the season is like, absolute hell for me so it's, i'll tell you what man it's it's serious that goody tune special the, the groin pull you, you don't want to mess with that yeah it you is. don't because yeah. it just ruins everything yeah going to yeah. the bathroom alone time yeah. with uh significant others like everything fun is bad I, you know, I, wait I, you just you just said everything fun after going <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what okay fair <laughs> hey, enough some, you know <laughs> fair enough 
Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe when you get older, those are the only fun things. So I'll, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. It might yeah, be the only time he gets some alone time. What's that? Yeah, it's probably it might true. be the time you only get alone time. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably true. I don't know. Maybe we can uh, get Dr. Eric Fedline to throw out some stretches for the team. Maybe even lead the team in stretches. I don't know. That we could do be, like the, the, the get a circle up the hallway before clap hands after yeah. every stretch. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We'll <laughs> do we'll do calisthenics. Hey. We'll do we'll do like active stretching. Where you're like yeah. jogging back and forth and yeah. doing leg raises and all that. That's not a bad idea. We did that in high school. Nobody pulled a groin then. I don't think there's any yeah. differences yeah. between that team and our team. You know, so. when I play baseball in the summertime, I'll usually stretch for a good thirty minutes when I get there. What and. All the young guys laugh at me, but you got to do it. You got to do it. 30 minutes of stretching? Yeah. Mm, that seems a little excessive. Yeah, it seems a little for, what, like probably two minutes of actual. Yeah, don't you just, I drew, aren't around. you like a first baseman? I am, but how many groins have I pulled? Knock on wood. Okay. All right. I guess, I guess you can't knock it if you've, if, you know, yeah. if there was, the, the results speak for themselves, so. What are you going to do? Yeah. Um, and I know you mentioned Reader hanging out after the game, too. Uh, we got some holiday news that I found out after the game as well. Oh. Our very own Mike Bice is uh, picking up a second job. Really? Yes. He uh, His uh, his girl, Jessica, ordered him a Buddy the Elf costume. So he's going to be dressing up as Buddy the Elf. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Is he, is he he's getting paid for that? I mean, why else? I hope he wears it to up? work. I really <laughs> hope he pulls somebody over that, that thing. That would be that would be hysterical. Imagine getting pulled over by a cop and have him dress up as Buddy the Elf when they walk up to your. What's window. your favorite color? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the rumor at the bar was he is doing it for his three year old nephew, but he could just be saying that. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a pre- that that that'd be a pretty good uh, excuse to make up. A pretty good you know little lie there. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah, shout him. out to Bice. Yeah, yeah shout out to house. Bice. I like that. Um, Garrett, I got to ask because I see here you got the gong goblet. Yeah. And I hate to ask this, but who interviewed you for your gong goblet interview? Well, Buckley was out of town on a business trip. Um, he had so, Rona. He had the Rona. Yeah. <laughs> and he was out there trying to spread it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was over there interviewing the other teams in our league. So. Well, that's <laughs> also a perfect segue for later. Yeah. Well, how can if it can't? It's not a perfect segue if we're segueing it for later. Well, Tim. it's a tease, I should say. It's a tease. Okay. Words mean things. But yeah, so uh, so Fuckley interviewed me. Oh uh, um, no, better not, not Fuckley. You know, I, I think Fuckley's been watching some game tape, and by game tape, I mean interviews by Buckley. So yeah. uh, it was a lot better. I think the sound was there. Uh, um, he's still working on his camera work but i was gonna yeah. say w- w- was the camera at your feet the whole time it, i wouldn't be surprised okay be well um i guess we'll a- find out right yeah yeah all right yeah. so take it away fuckley all right fuckley here filling in for buckley he's uh sick this week he got the rona um garrett with the goblet uh how do you feel about tonight like uh well deserved well deserved i definitely yeah. missed a lot of passes uh yeah, you know, had my head up my ass pretty much the entire game. So uh, this is the well-deserved gong goblet. So uh, women's rowing in uh, college, uh, who do you got this year? Definitely Army. They uh, they beat Navy last year. Uh, the crew team's amazing. And uh, I think they're going all the way. Awesome. All right. Fuck we out. All right. Uh, wow. better. Riveting questions. I mean, better. Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely better. The bar was... At the floor, and it's slightly above it now. So not ankle high, but yeah. hey, go yeah. women's uh, army crew. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yep. Um, Tim, you teased it, but uh, and I guess we were kind of talking about it. I think the more interesting thing about this game isn't who was playing; it's who wasn't playing. <laughs> How crowded this next I, slot is. <laughs> so. Oh wait, no, we, we forgot the beef. It's a, no, it's fine. No, we're, we're, we're going gonna, right we're into it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, I mean, this is insane. I almost had to make two slides for this. <laughs> well, I think we jinxed ourselves last week because we said, we said, oh, this is the, yeah. this is the most action this slide's ever seen. <laughs> nope. Here's one more. <laughs> yeah. Let's throw your goalie in the mix. <laughs> I mean, we knew Tyler was going to be out because of the suspension. Yeah. So that was what it was. 
We also knew Bray. We, we, Bray gave us a, about a week's heads up that he was going to be out. So that was, you know, finding a goalie was what is what it is. Brown. But shout out to, uh, well, hold on. Shout out to uh, Will. 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 Yeah, Will. Dude. Yep. yep. Racino's goalie. Dude, played I top match. Play them yeah. Next. So uh, we definitely got our work cut out for us uh, next time we play him because he played real solid. You know, if he, yeah. if he, if he plays uh, against us that way, whew, yeah, it's going to be tough. He was he was on fire. I mean, but there's only so much you can do when you're taking 50, 60 shots. I mean, yep. yeah. Yeah. But no, yeah, no, he played well. He stood on his head, made made some really good saves. Good guy. Yeah. Yep. Oh, um, yeah. But yeah, so Brown's still out, hoping to have him back after the Christmas break, holiday break. Reader we talked about, it's got the Goonie Tunes special with the pulled groin. Tom. Uh, Garrett, Tom. Let, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you take this yeah, one. Yeah, let's take this uh, one. Okay. Tom, so, you know, I'm texting before the game because I'm trying to make sure we got enough guys. So text Tom and he just goes, I'll check out, but I might come, but I'm just going to check out. It's like, are you going to be there? Are you going to be there or not? We need it. Yeah. We need to know if you're going to be there. Cause yeah, that's the whole point. So it's the whole point of the uh, bench. Yeah. Just, just tell me I, it's, <laughs> it's, I, it's, it's like, he oh, thinks it's, it's like, he thinks if he waits longer to let us know, we'll, we'll forget be, about it. Yeah. But yeah. We'll forget yeah. about him or like take it easier on him on the podcast. And it's like, no, that's no, not how, no, don't that's, tell not me. How, like, that's not how this is going to work. Might not come. <laughs> yeah. Like just, oh, unbelievable. Oh, John, then, John, apparently similar, similar excuse. We're trying to figure out numbers on like Saturday and I can't remember if it was Tim or Eric, but yeah, Eric was like, Oh yeah. John's in Alabama. Why are we, oh, why are, what are okay. we doing? And I, to be honest, he still didn't check himself out. I had to check him out. Cause I'm like, well, he's definitely not making the game. If he's, <laughs> that doesn't make surprise that me at all. I don't know. I think him going to that Notre Dame game kind of just started a snowball effect. He thought he could get away with it. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. oh man. Unbelievable. Yep. Um, Daniel, Dan? I think he was probably celebrating the Lions win pretty hard. Yes. If I so, had to guess. I'm not going to say, you know, that you know, there may or may not have been someone else on the team that was at the game that still made it, but there was. Really? Oh, yeah. Phil was at the game. No shit? Yeah. Yeah. So Phil, All right. Phil was well, like, I take it back. I, he I initially back. texted me he wasn't going to be able to make the game. And then he's like, eh, yeah, party died down. I'm coming back. He's like, but I'm pretty loaded. So uh, you get what you get. <laughs> Which, oh, boy. He was fine. But I mean, well, he showed well, up, you know, though. I, hey, I'll be honest. I'm a little jelly of Dan. That would have been a fun game to go to. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Yeah. So, here, how do you like this? Speaking of the Lions game, so most, uh, like, sports teams have, like, you know, an official sports, you know, team Twitter account or whatever. And yeah. after a game, they'll, like, tweet out, like, a final score graphic. And the Cardinals were pretty notorious this year for, po- like, when they won for, like, kind of shitting on the other team. Like, when they beat the Bears, they posted a big, you know, the, the big L or the big bean in Chicago. They yeah. posted, like, a big L but it was the bean, like, you know, like Chicago's holding on to the L or whatever. So it is almost eight o'clock on Tuesday night. They still haven't posted the final score graphic from the Lions game. <laughs> and Twitter, like Twitter is like going in on them. They're like, they're like dude, they're like, dude, the Warriors posted the game seven graphic when they lost to the Cavaliers in the NBA finals. Like <laughs> Michigan posted the final score graphic when the punt, but you know, on, on the punt block at, yeah. against Michigan. Say like everything, like trouble with Cardinals, the punk. The yeah, Cardinals are just holding, holding steadfast and just not posting the final. That's score only graphic. going to make things worse. <laughs> oh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The internet is funny. always undefeated. It's very funny. <laughs> so yeah. Shout out Dan. Shout out the lions beat the shit out of the Cardinals. It was a great game. Um, and then last yeah. but not least, this this might be the, the worst, worst. What's your excuse all year? Yep, Tim. I'll let and you. And that's take saying this. something because Embry forgot his stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Buckley and I get a text from Joey saying he won't make it tonight. You know, not feeling the best. Three people at his work had COVID. Blah blah blah. Uh, honorable thing to do I absolutely yeah, that, i that, that when i when i heard that fair. i was like good on you joe being you responsible you know yeah absolutely even if even if it's uh just you know being uh careful even if precautious you know, like, think, yeah yep, exactly yeah. 
Really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, we know Crystal Fieldhouse kind of had to shut down a time or two last year. So yeah. that that's that's cool. But then Buckley did some investigating and you know, Buckley photography got snapped a photo of the Witchard household. That very same day he sent that text. Santa you see Claus. The is one there. and only Poon Patty. And Santa Claus there. And Do not you know only that, and houses Santa Claus goes to. I he's got to be less than six feet away from Santa. Yeah, hockey stick. I mean, hockey stick. Listen, uh, I just not only is not only is he trying to ruin Christmas for his family, he's trying to get Santa sick. Yeah. So there's one. There's there's, there's there's I there's hope two there's two options here, right? Either he was sick. And he still invited Santa into his house <laughs> or he lied to you and Buckley and he wasn't sick and he was just making up a lie so that he didn't have to go to the game. I honestly don't know what's worse. I don't know which one is worse. I don't either. I will well, say making up a lie. It's just, it's not so much that he didn't sh- go show up. It's just the lion, Joe. Yeah. Lying to your buddies, lying to your team. If you would have just said, Hey, we're having family Christmas. I can't make it. <laughs> Santa's if you would have said something like along the lines of, hey, I might make it, but I might not make it. So I'm just going to check out. <laughs> that would have been less. less exactly. Of a, less of an issue with this. <laughs> like, but honestly, just be like, just be honest. Just be like, hey, yeah, uh, we're having Santa come over for the kids. We're having family Christmas. Like, OK, dude, it's the it's the, you know, the Sunday before <laughs> Christmas. Right. That happens. Like, Santa's a pretty yeah. big deal. Yeah. Especially when you have three little kids. Yeah. So do what you got to do, but just the lion, Joe. And if it wasn't lion, then the trying to get Santa Claus sick. Hold up. Okay. Are the Goonie Tunes going to have to divorce Joey? I I don't, I, I'm not there yet. Okay. I will say there we're in a, this is first rough, offense for him. So oh, oh, oh. this is a big, I've been here this is before, a, man. This is a big I'm first saying, offense. I put my this walls a, up early. So I, you know, I just, it's, he's going to need to mend some fences on the team yeah. for sure after this because this is egregious. Yeah, this yeah. is egregious, and it's either he either doesn't care about the team or he doesn't care about the rest of the world because he was potentially yeah. risking giving Santa COVID. So yep. again, and I don't know, I don't know which one is worse. I tell you what, next time he's at the game, he buys the next four rounds. All is forgiven. Sounds about right. Yeah. That's, okay. All right. That's about. All right. So the next game Joey's at, jot that down, everyone. The next game Joey's at, he has to buy the first four rounds. So however many guys stay after, you know, maybe it's an early game. I know, you know, it it is a late game. So maybe he might luck out, but we'll see. He might luck out. Hey, listeners, feel free to chime in too. And uh, yeah, feel free to stop. We're a very welcoming table. Absolutely. Absolutely. As long as you don't have COVID. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 In which case, so bring that Santa. might mean Santa. Yeah, yeah. In which case, Santa <laughs> yeah. can't come. Sorry, Santa. Yeah. <laughs> so, kind of looking at that that picture of, I mean, his boy Gabe. Look at that hockey flow. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, he's got. The red. He's got the These flow. Kids have the sickest haircut. Like it's so... it's it's it's, in, it's incredible. <laughs> it's top notch. Uh, he's the one yeah. in the the red there on the left. Just so everyone knows who we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Oh no! They everyone sees the flow. They see oh, okay. the flow. Just, well, yeah. you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the only. He's the only three-year-old with a mullet, Garrett. I think yeah. everybody sees the, <laughs> sees the flow. I think uh, his wife posted a video of him like doing this. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so awesome. Oh. That's hilarious. Somebody's been feeding Johnny raw meat. Look at him go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so raw meat play of the week. We're all over the place. It's the, it's the episode before Christmas. Get over it. Um, it's the holidays. Yeah, Eric. So, so, yeah. Eric. Uh, we didn't get. It. We didn't really touch about touch much about this on uh, the game recap. But Eric had to move back to the defense because we were short benched. And I'll tell you what. I was impressed. Yeah, he was solid back there. Do you think uh, he found a new home back there? I think he may have. We talked about it after you know, the game. We, we're he talking seemed... about changing things up. I, I don't think his name was on the list to uh, consider moving back there, but 
I was impressed. After that performance. He I, seemed, and he seemed to like it back there. He said it was a little bit more relaxed. He was a little bit yeah. more comfortable. He made a couple nice plays. There's a little bit of positioning and a little bit of skating we still need to work on. Through the puck That's across his first the middle. Game, though, back yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm, yeah. Well, he was a yeah. mad Very, man very, stick. very small, very small negatives. Yeah, he was really good with the stick. I mean, this play, the play he made, he got beat, went the turn, fell. And he still made the extra effort. And when he was falling, like diving poke check off the guy's stick. Well, so, and the I thing mean, about that's it the too kind of is stuff we're looking for. That was the best poke check he had of the game. He had and several the, others. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, he had like four or five other pretty, pretty yeah. solid poke check. And even, you know, even though he's not the most uh, coordinated defenseman, he's normally in the right spot and he's kind of, you know, he's, he's doing everything he can to make, yeah, good, you know, yeah, doing everything yeah. he can to make the right play. So put it, put it this way I haven't seen in that kind of, an effort from Eric since season one. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good point, Tim. I don't. Yeah, I mean, like it, like you said, maybe, uh, maybe he's found his new home back on the blue line. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, we're we're hurting without you know JB back there. So let's okay, let's let's pump the brakes. Eric's uh, not. I mean, maybe Eric's maybe not we'll find his wheels. JB. Eric's not replacing JV in any sense. <laughs> I'm not saying replace. Okay? I'm just saying there's a there's a gap. Jake, we really need you to come back as yeah. soon as possible. Okay, there's we're a... getting so desperate. We're like complimenting Eric on his <laughs> defensive play. All right, we need you back, bud. Um, we say it every week, but this is just making JB's case for the Norris. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Hey, you can't win it if you don't play. That's absolutely. all. Absolutely. All right. And around the league, I mean, oh, so I didn't have the scores because Crystal Fieldhouse didn't update the scores. So I know Dirty Work said they beat SJM. I don't. I think they said they beat him in a shootout. Um, it was like it was like four or five to two when we were walking out, and it was like it was six or seven minutes to go in the third period. Yeah, so I'm not sure what the Mercedes so yeah, but I checked Crystal Fieldhouse's the website today and it wasn't updated, so I have no idea what the other scores were. But if you say Dirty Work one, I believe you because I think S- oh, yeah, I think yeah, S- yeah, I think yeah, SJM has been struggling without Brandon. Brandon. Yeah, well, and, and he even he, – because he, he wanted to talk about that because they had the other guy that was suspended a game, and he just, you know, asked – because we were texting throughout the week just kind of keeping each other posted what the plan was. Oh, right. And, uh, they, You know, they didn't play their guy either, so. Probably smart. Yeah. yeah. Well, especially after McKenzie texted you like an hour before game yeah. time reminding you that Tyler couldn't play. She just probably did the same thing to him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Probably what did Tyler do thing. again? Uh, it was – I think the Pushing official – a shopping cart, I believe. No, yeah. I think it was, yeah, pushing, shoving, bumping, something like that. And that's it? Yep, Just that a, is it. Nothing wrong with a little bump and grind, baby. That's right. Um, I would assume Family PT beat Mercino, but you never know. Um, so, yeah, I would assume Family PT. I'm surprised. I mean, I mean SJM losing to Dirty Work is kind of a big upset, but yeah. But yeah. yeah I just, I'm looking at the scores or the thing right now. They don't have them updated yet. That's, that's what I just said. Well, I, you think they probably. updated him within the 30 minutes that we've been recording the show? Uh, I don't know. You didn't, you didn't say when you looked it up. You just said today when I looked it up. All right. Well, yeah. Um, I don't really want to talk about the barn. It was a shitty performance from the tunes. Hold up. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. No, I don't want to talk guys, about it. And, and this is, I don't play in the barn league. So this is, this is kind of what everybody's thinking. You guys talk so much shit about the Grand Blake. Team. Couple couple things, and this is gonna sound like a salty loser being salty, but it is sure what it not. is. They brought in a new kid who is by far and away their best player. Uh uh-huh. and you're not supposed to play goalie. They have yeah. like a little, they have like a little crease area, like it's probably two foot, you know, from the like where the netting is. It's like the, it's like two foot by whatever the width of the net is. <laughs> the defense is not supposed to go in that area. Yeah. Well, they were just like laying their stick down in front of the net. So yeah. they don't have somebody there to like be like, yo. No, they you know. do, and I talked to the guy, but it, 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 it they had already blocked like two or three of our goals. So, so two or three. So okay, so I'll give you three and, goals. And, and quite honestly, I don't think the guy cares. He's yeah. there to uh, yeah. Get the they're, they're, yeah. They're, yeah. Yeah. No, they're not gonna. They're not gonna. And I and I, that's what happened is he came over in between periods and was talking to us about like why he counted one goal but didn't count another, and I was like. You know, are you supposed to? You know, you lolly your stick on. He's like, no, you're not supposed to play goal. And I was like, all right, well, just would you let them know because they've done it a couple times. Yeah. You know, I wasn't gonna make a thing around of it or anything, but it was kind of shitty. We, get to your we at the end of the day, we played really, really bad. We, I mean, we hit, I don't know, like so many posts. The puck just yeah. did not go yeah. in. 
It was yeah. It was it was one of those nights. We well, came out like, uh, we came out flat. A bit of a fat head too going into it. Yeah, we definitely we definitely thought they were just going to roll over and let us beat them and we kind of mm-hmm. came out came out a little flat. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So What are you going to do? Bounce back next week. They got they, they added two more teams, so Oh, that's good. Or, uh, yeah, happy yeah. to, happy is to it see. Seven now or six? Oh, okay, six. Yeah. And for whatever reason, we're the seven forty-five slide every single week, which is absolutely that's hilarious. Like no complaints. Yeah, that's not going to complain that's one no bit. Complaint. Not even a little bit. So you that'll be nice. Maybe that's yeah. Good. Another uh, thing to mention too: the Zamboni was down last oh, week or uh, yesterday. Ooh, that brutal. Was brutal. It was quick. snowy too. Like, you luckily you we you had the stick. first game. Yeah, you but couldn't still, stick in. It was raw. It was yeah. like play, it was like playing on a pond where like it's it snowed the night before, and there's just like that little thin layer of snow that just sticks to the ice, and you can't really move. You just can't the puck just doesn't slide very well, so there's a lot of like skating over the puck or going to make a move and the puck stick in. And we have a couple of guys on our team that are, you know, our game is kind of like stick handling and going around yeah. guys. And when we couldn't play our game, it hurt us a little bit. So. You know, you need yeah. you need somebody that can sauce, you know. Yeah, let me know. Spot. Let me know. Let me know when you find one of those guys. Hey man. I'll, I'll, I'll hey, ask him normally we do, but Reader wasn't. He yeah, that's play. true. That's true. Yeah, Reader was out because did, did Reader go to that game too, or did he? Yeah, uh... he was there. Okay. Yep. Good he, he, Reader he just, out Reader just likes too. hanging out with the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Reader would Reader wouldn't care if we were playing in like a like a sand <laughs> hockey league. You would still come out and hang out yeah. and play with the boys. So. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's uh around the league. Couple teams at five and two. At the Christmas break, I would assume we're right in it, though. I mean, a couple wins, get back over 500, yep. stay in that third, fourth spot. I think we're all right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm kind of hoping, too, no game next Sunday gives a couple guys a couple weeks to, you know, get back to 100% maybe get or healthy. at least, yeah. you yep. know, in Reader's case. Yeah. I'm nursing, I'm nursing a bum knee. So, so I have a hot pad on it literally right now. Yeah. <laughs> Nice prop. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I was waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting for you guys to bring it up. Yeah. Thanks. Um, um any status on JB coming back? Or, I don't know. I you I know haven't I heard anything. Him, yeah, I texted him the other day about the or asking if we could borrow his jersey. He said he was moving. Didn't say anything about hockey, so nah. yeah, I don't know. I'll I'll shoot him a I'll shoot him a text too. Yeah. Says. Yeah. After maybe in between the holidays, try to try to get a gauge on when he's coming back. Yeah. All right. Well, it's time for our newest segment, boys. Little review time. Oh yeah. All right. So we did uh, Untold Crimes and Penalties. It's on Netflix, like we talked about. It's about the Danbury Thrashers uh, and the hijinks that ensued when they became a, a minor league team. Uh, you can see our scores here. Garrett, do you want to go first? Because I, sure. I don't, I don't sure. know why you can't just give like a normal score. I don't know why you got to break yeah, it down. Yeah, it's all about you know presentation. That's why I got to fortify. Okay. Historiography, I thought it was good. Uh, checks out. I did some research on Wikipedia, and the story is uh, backed up by Wikipedia. Oh boy. So I can't really argue with that. No. Nope. Uh, science. <laughs> and Does the have a Wikipedia page? What's that? Not yet. <laughs> yeah. We're, work, <laughs> yeah, we're, not we're yet. working on it. The Goonie Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> We could have some fun. The wheels are turning. <laughs> oh, great. That's All my right. Christmas well, present. Is, yeah. Our next segment, what goes into the Wikipedia page? Yeah. Uh, the presentation, four out of five, uh, simply because, I'll tell you what, I was dying laughing when they had the segment where they the guy was talking about his like childhood birthdays, and they have like the WWF guys coming. It's like The Rock. Yeah. Like, like guys are worth millions and millions of dollars now when wrestling was just starting to really get big. Oh yeah, the Rock's worth like billions. Oh, I mean, yeah, the Rock's yeah, the, yeah. like the, the biggest person on the planet. Yeah, he was just yeah. at this kid in yeah, Dan Barry's birthday he party like high 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Still had his high and tight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So the sound, I don't know if it was my TV or what. I couldn't hear shit. Like it was like the like the the background music was just overpowering all the uh, like the people talking, which it's a documentary. You kind of want to hear what people are saying. I didn't have that issue. So I, have that I had that issue, issue but whatever. So one out of five, but enjoyable. Definitely check it out. If you have. Sound yeah. one out of five. <laughs> That's so, my only bitch. So stupid. Uh, what about you, Tim? Any thoughts? 
Uh, I loved it. I gave it an 8.7 out of 10. Um, I love the part when, uh, when AJ was like, yeah, I kind of knew my life was a little bit different when the teacher was asking life lessons and everybody else in the class was like, oh, always make sure you brush your teeth before bed or whatever he said. <laughs> And then she came to me and it was don't snitch. <laughs> yeah. Stitches get stitches or yeah, whatever he yeah, said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I gave it an 8.5. Uh, I thought there was one character in the mm-hmm. movie that stood out more than anyone else. And it was the Danbury Trashers equipment manager. Yes. <laughs> when he's sitting, he's sitting in that cigar lounge and they're interviewing him and he's smoking that stogie. And they're like, did you really lay out a bunch of 10 year olds at practice? And he goes, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, what an absolute army animal. hockey equipment manager too. Yeah. Yeah. What an absolute psycho yeah. he was. What did they, they, they went down the list. It was like, uh, he would shorten the other team's benches. He would turn off their hot water. Give them he like would, one towel. <laughs> yeah. Give them like towels yeah. that were like, like covered in paper like thin. dust and yeah. uh, paper thin like yeah. cut down their sticks while they were like in the locker room and shit. It's an absolute savage. Yeah. So I thought he was incredible. I thought the cell phone on the bench that was that, uh, what's it? The owner. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, talking yeah. to, yeah. Yeah. Calling winger. down it. Yeah. Calling down and being like, all right, yeah. you're fighting on the first draw tonight. <laughs> 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 that, yeah. So it was crazy. I mean, I know we're like three months late to talking about it. Cause it was, pretty pretty all the rage when it i died. hadn't but seen it up until this week, i mean so yeah so yeah if you're if you're like i haven't seen it yeah if you're like garrett and you haven't watched it it's what's it, like an hour and 20 minutes an hour and 15 yeah minutes. yeah it's, it's it super short and it's, it's a quick I mean, watch but it's it's solid it's crazy because yeah. it, it like never lets up yeah yeah it just it yeah exactly and I'll the tell fact you what, that they haven't done a, a spinoff for that uh, equipment manager yet is kind of disappointing. <laughs> I mean, I would I would be surprised if he it was like legally able to do a spinoff. Right. <laughs> I think it, he probably got himself into some trouble. Generals? No, I thought it was no the no the generals are the IHL. Well, what I thought that they were they were about UHL the at some point. Or yeah, no, yeah, the generals might have been UHL. I might be mistaken. I could have sworn that I they, can't wait to get fact checked on this, by the way. We don't, we don't do, we don't check facts on this show. We yeah. spout out nonsense and mm. some of it is yeah. right. And most of it is wrong. And we leave. I am pretty the sure they played in the same league as the uh, Flint generals. Okay. So yeah, we've all, right. we've all said three different things. So I can't wait for, I can't wait to see who's right. And we're probably all wrong at, <laughs> at some point. Don't no, Don't look it up, Garrett. I see what you're doing. We don't, we don't check facts on this show. We don't check facts on this show. Um, I was going to say something in that. Oh, I thought when I started watching it, I was like, <laughs> I am going to hate this AJ kid. He seems like such a dick. I mean, he is. The, he, yeah, but it's it's also kind of like, it's like not really his fault. That's like, how he grew up. Yeah, yeah. It's just, that's, yeah, that's, it's just how he grew up. So, uh, yeah, I don't I know. also don't hate hate his dad either even though his dad was a little i mean stunning. i kind of i kind of don't like his dad <laughs> i don't know i mean are you defending a mob boss right now tim is that what you're doing are you trying to get on his good side so he doesn't on, record, you? on record on, yes, on I record <laughs> just in case just in case yeah you never know um but yeah, you, I don't yeah, know. You never I can't... know who that 56 subscriber is. <laughs> I... Oh, we're up to 59. Yeah, we're, getting, we yeah, okay, we're nice. getting close to 60. We still Ooh. have to do something for hitting 50, but I don't know what we're going to do. Um, I will say, if we could get like a fan section that would like bring body bags to our games, <laughs> I mean, yeah. that is like an all-time fan section move. Like bring body bags with the opposing team's names on and them. Jerry Richards' kids. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you had his son with the mullet and a body bag, yeah. are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, That'd be incredible. I mean, pretty bold of you to assume that he would show up, but yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, nowadays, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, overall, good watch. Solid, uh, solid story. Probably one of the better uh, hockey documentaries I've watched in the last couple of years. Yeah, I would say like maybe the Russian Five one is probably the only one that I thought was like better than this. Yeah, yeah. So, so theaters when it came out, but I yeah. think that's part partly just because 
we're all Red Wings fans, and oh yeah, you yeah, know, we're we're kind of a little a biased for the story. But, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Even so, I think this one was so good because I just had no. I mean, I had like like you said, you looked it up after Garrett, but and I did the same thing. But I had no idea this team ever existed. I didn't know anything about this when it was pitched as like the real life Tony Soprano buys and you know buys minor league hockey for his eighteen year old son. I was like, oh, this is gonna be kind of dumb. But yeah. yeah, then you get into it. And it's like, oh, this is actually pretty interesting. That logo is pretty sick too. Oh, their logo was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, and the fact that they were like gonna like try and play the Atlanta Thrashers for the logo <laughs> <laughs> at the time, it probably would have been a close game because the Thrashers were like brutal, garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah real bad. Um, like Mike Rupp, who like won a Stanley Cup like three months prior, was like on the team, just playing for, just playing in Danbury, getting bags of cash under the table. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, we didn't talk about what we were going to review next. Do you guys have any ideas? I thought we, some we had some we mentioned something. I don't remember what it was at the bar. Um, I wasn't there for that. Yeah. I'm open for ideas. Comment below. We'll figure something out, and uh, maybe it'll be a surprise. Well, how are, how are the people going to know? The whole point of this is that, this, that they no, watch it with us. Yeah, suggestion. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. All right. We, we, we have a PR team. We'll get oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. PR so when we, out. when we figure out what we're going to do, we'll put it out on our, in our, in Instagram. our Instagram. Yeah. Yep. We'll Insta. Follow, That's what the kids follow do. The right? Instagram. Yeah. Follow the Instagram we'll put page. It on the IG. We'll put it yeah. out probably sometime next week. Um, Tim, or maybe we'll, I'll we'll get maybe Tim we'll to do a tic tac of it. <laughs> yeah. <Tic-tac>. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a little boy. tic-tac dance. Yeah. Yeah. The tic-tac dance. That's, that's just what we need. We already had our one boomer episode. Don't make this another boomer episode. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag tune memes. Tune memes. <laughs> so stupid. We had some good ones. We still do. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. Shout out to uh, our boy Ian too for graduating. Oh yeah! Congratulations, Ian. Oh wow! Well, yeah. Yeah. Um. Do you guys have anything? Okay. So. I was listening to a podcast the other day and they brought up a really random, like I thought interesting hypothetical question. So here we go. And this kind of ties into the whole Red Wings thing too. So you can go back in time. You, you stay your current age, you know, like going back and like, you know, stay, you know, or becoming the age that you were then. And you can go to any one sporting event. So it's gotta be one game mm-hmm. or like one day of the event. So you can't go back. Like I, I my immediate reaction was, I want to go back and watch the 2004 Red Sox Yankees series because that was a crazy series, but that's right. that seven games. So you have to go yeah. back for one game. Where, what, where, where would you go? Or like, what event do you think would be the best event to go to? I already know what I'm going. I'm going to the, uh, I think it was 94. It was Army the Navy. Yeah. No, the all out brawl between uh, Red Wings. and Oh uh, yeah. Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. Like what was like February 13th or whatever. I, I feel like it was March. March something comes to mind, but I mean, it's, it's the one oh, where, you right. know, the, the turtle incident and everything just, yeah, and then McCarty's oh, Wah, Juan Vernon. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, I don't know if yeah. you can. I got him oh, on yeah. my wall. Yeah, right there. That's a yeah, that's a that's a good choice. That's the one that just comes right off to the uh, top of my head. Once you yeah, start. That, that, that was at the Joe, right? Yeah, that was at the Joe. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, was kind of my it first must have been, thought too. It must have been March. It was. It was like right before the playoffs. Yeah, and I remember in that Red Wings doc, they were talking about how they were heading into the playoffs and they kind of wanted to prove to themselves and to everybody else that they were tough enough to hang with the avalanche. Cause that was kind of the knock on the wings for like the last yeah. three seasons was that they were just a bunch of like finesse players and didn't have any grit and weren't going to be able to stand up to them and come to playoffs. So that's actually a pretty good choice. I hadn't even thought about March that. 26, 97. Yeah. March 26, 97. Yeah. Oh there's my a, God. So yeah, there's a Colorado I'm going to cut that. Before. I'm going to cut that fact check. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's a book out there. It's called blood, blood feud. It's written. It's interesting because it's written by a uh, uh, journalist from Colorado, so he definitely has like a whole bias spin on it. A little bias, yeah, yeah. But it's it's it covers that whole segment kind of thing between uh, Col- Colorado and Detroit, like that whole year, two year period where they just hate each other. It's, oh it's really good. It's a quick read too. I mean, it's it's very very fun to read. All so, right, yeah. Blood Feud for all of our Blood reading for all, the, all of our listeners yeah, are there's readers. the Goody Tunes reading list we'll put yeah, it yeah 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 <laughs> the Goody, Goody Tunes book club, yeah, book club. Yeah. <laughs> 
2022's book. We're not monthly. We're yearly. We give you a whole year to yeah. read the book. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you'll, you'll probably read it in like a week. It's, it's, it's that easy to read, but I mean, it's not like, it's like a 200 page book, but it's still good. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. How many pictures? Decent amount. Yeah, you know, couple. I mean, like you, any, any novel has like yeah. the like 10 to 12 uh, pictures in the middle kind of thing. I think kind of low key, my favorite part about that whole incident was uh, I think it was Larry Anoff and Sackick getting into it. No, or it might have been uh, Fors. Yeah, Fors. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what started it. Is everybody was looking at that like, huh? Look, look at those Europeans going at it. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't see those two guys. And then McCarty jumps in. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. All right, Tim. What's your choice? What uh, what event would you go to? So, that was my first my first initial thought was that game just because just listening to to like the, the highlights of it, that place just sounds so loud. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I, I would say if I had to go kind of in a different direction with baseball, I think Ordonia is hitting that walk off. I was thinking, I was thinking that That if, if you were a Tigers fan, even though they didn't win the world series that year, that walk off to win the ALCS in Detroit was, I remember watching that on TV and like going ballistic. Yep, that was too. crazy. Yeah. So one of the ones that uh, was brought up and I kind of thought was a pretty, a pretty solid choice was the 1980 miracle on ice game. Ooh, yeah. That would have been yeah. fun. Yeah. Because I mean, that game was tape delayed. Yeah. Right. Like that yeah, game, like, I think, yeah. I think puck drop was like one thirty or two o'clock and then it didn't like, brought it wasn't broadcasted on abc until like eight o'clock that night so there was like a four hour window in between the end of the game when we won to like when the rest of the country saw it yeah so yeah being in person there i don't i think i think that'd be pretty incredible like the biggest thing is, issue is like it's just one one game like if you go to watch a whole yeah. series like going to watch like the the stanley cup finals for any of the wings cups would be awesome yeah. but like how many did they even clinch a cup at home yeah, the second one. Oh, yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. 99, yeah. right? Yeah, Carolina. Yeah. Yep. 998. That's right. 98. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. Dallas won in 99. Okay, okay. All right, easy, fact boy. I'm Don't ask why I, why I know that. <laughs> easy, <laughs> easy, fact boy. Just Man, calm, look at that just sports calm memorabilia down. he's got in the back there. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, trying to think of any other, like, like outside-of-the-box sports like any like golf or I don't know, like Tiger won so many freaking, yeah. I don't know. The 2019 masters isn't like a crazy, like him coming back after all those years is what would, would, would have been kind of cool. The problem is Tiger won like so many of his majors by like 10 strokes that like, it wasn't even, like, it wasn't. Sunday, yeah. yeah. Sunday wouldn't yeah. even be like, wasn't even interesting. Um, But yeah, I just thought that was an interesting question. Thought I'd bring it up. Yeah. No, I like it. That's so um, since we're in the holiday spirit, do you guys have a favorite Christmas present you've ever gotten from Santa? Hockey or non-hockey related? <sighs> That's a tough question. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying, I'm like, I'm trying to go through my childhood and think like, what did I go nuts about? So it was the very first time I've ever seen a hockey game. Like I happened, I was super young, probably six maybe yeah um flipping through the the tv or you know the channels and Fedorov scored like they were showing the replay of Federer <laughs> scoring and i for whatever reason it, it just got me hooked and then i played one year of hockey in fifth grade so i got a ton of hockey stuff that christmas so oh nice hockey stick all the equipment oh, nice and, so that was kind of cool maybe not my favorite but that kind of pushed me from, you know, into hockey a little more, at least watching it anyway. I remember. The skill never yeah. Developed. Yeah. The skill. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's true. You're a fan, Tim. It's okay. Yeah. Um, I remember the year I got my first ever composite stick. It was a Christmas and my birthday is in the middle of November. So it was like a Christmas birthday combo gift. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was, it was like $300 when the, when it was the yellow yeah, it first came out, it was the yellow Easton synergy. And it was the first one that had like the grippy, like the, like yeah, the shaft was yeah. grippy. And I was like, oh, this is, and it was like bright yellow. So when you <laughs> had it, everyone on the ice, like knew you had the new stick. 
Yeah, right. like because like the the Great Eastern synergy was like the first like e- like the first. Yeah, synergy. that was the first one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but that one you know it was kind of like a silvery gray, so it kind of looked like a lot of the other sticks. But yeah, that yellow one was bright yellow. That's I still, still got my orange one, which was the second generation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's still to my day that yellow, that's the my the favorite stick I've ever owned. Yeah, was that yellow Eastern? Synergy. Do you still have it? It I don't think I do. I think we probably like cut it up to use it for something. I don't think ah, that sucks. Have it anymore. <laughs> Fire poker. <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, use it for like the like the the no, uh, what's my like the little fencing you put inside, like keep the dog out of a room or whatever. We like, yeah. like, like <laughs> put uh, spacers in those. Yeah. So but so the the only thing that really comes to mind, and it's not hockey related, was original Nintendo. And it wasn't necessarily okay. the gift. But it was the the way it worked out is like, you know, opened every gift. I mean, I was probably like, God, it would have been probably like 90, 91. So I was probably like maybe four or five. Uh, and, you know, all the gifts are open. And, oh, did you give everything you wanted? And full, like right out of a Christmas story, my dad goes, yeah. hey, what's that over there behind the, uh, <laughs> you know, behind the fire? <laughs> just be like, you know, my, my little onesie or even, <laughs> what's this? Down? but it was just that, like that cycle of going through, going through all the gifts. Like, Oh yeah, cool. A book about dinosaurs or whatever. Yeah, right. Like, right. Oh, a pair of socks. To come down a little yeah. bit and then boom, right back yeah. up. <laughs> oh, that's too good. It's a Nintendo. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So definitely the presentation is what, uh, what made it memorable. Yeah. I'll have to find it, but I know there's a picture of, so when I got all that hockey shit, um, I did the learn to skate and, you know, learn to hockey kind of, you know, uh, classes they have. And I know there's a Polaroid picture of me with, I had my full cage. I had, I think sweats on with my shin guards on the outside and oh, just geez. a Flint general shirt. <laughs> So if I can find it, I'll throw it off and maybe do a rate my style or something. Oh man, oh, that's man. brutal. That's brutal. It, it's that's a problem. Kid, look. I tell you what, if that's if I saw that kid out at like a like a drop in or something, I'd be like, ooh boy, stay away from him. Yeah, he might hit you on accident and not even <laughs> like not know what he's doing. So, but yeah, yeah if anybody I'll, I'll look for it one of these days, anybody that's watching, if you uh if you have a favorite Christmas gift when you were a kid, hockey or non hockey related, let us know. Um, I remember one year we got the year we got our PlayStation two, Ben and I, we were up at like five in the morning and, uh, we like, you know, open it up and we're like playing it. We played one game of NHL and got into a big fight. And my dad was like, all right, that's enough. That's enough. You're going to bed. You're going back to bed. We're going back to bed. That, that's enough yeah, of that. Yeah. At 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, exactly. Like screaming at each other. Like, you can't do that. You can't do that. And I'm like hitting him and shit. But I was like, all right, that's enough. We're going back to bed. <laughs> Oh shit! PlayStation's going. I still going to bed. <laughs> yeah, I just remember my dad. So whether we're playing Xbox or PlayStation or whatever, my dad always referred to it. He's playing that Nintendo again. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, fellas. Anything else? Uh, probably just a reminder that no show next week. Yep. yep uh, we're off we next got, week. We're working on the best of segment. So if you've got a segment you liked. You know, comment below. Let us know so we can throw it in there. Yep. Otherwise, we got a couple uh, good ones picked up for you. Yep. Working through the episodes, finding some of the better segments. Uh, but if you have a favorite, like Garrett said, let us know. We'll th- we'll try to include them. Um, we are going to be putting out because there's no game obviously this weekend. We're going to be putting out a top slash not top plays of 2021. <laughs> uh, I was going through that and editing that the other night. There are a lot of not top plays <laughs> and a couple and a couple top plays but mo- it's most it's mostly not top it's mostly not top um we'll see so if yeah, the shootout makes it yeah we'll see <laughs> but that'll be coming out tuesday night like uh like the highlights normally do and then the best stuff will be coming out thursday so if you have to work next week you'll have something to listen to i got but- two things to wrap up on uh okay on my end All um right. just a reminder we are officially calling out craig Yes. This episode. Yep. Yes. So just I know in case some of the viewers kind of forgot, Craig, you're officially called out. And then my second is uh just want to wish our buddy Brian happy Hanukkah. Um yeah. yep. you know, oh okay. Hanukkah was like you know, three weeks just, ago. Just, yeah, yeah, just a shout out. We kind we kind of missed it, but you know, yeah. it's the thought that counts. Yeah, yeah. It's the thought that counts. 
So, all right, everybody, as always, thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking all that nonsense. We appreciate everybody. It's been pretty fun doing this show and seeing the response this year. So going to keep it going into 2022. Oh, what? I do got one more thing. So I heard this is episode 16. I heard, heard most podcasts only make it 15 episodes. Hey, so after this comes out, we're we're for real. We're yeah, we're for real. Yeah. We're for real. Okay. We're for real now. Yep. <laughs> this is what we do. We're Once big time week. podcast boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the studio will come next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. But thanks everybody for listening, for watching. Uh, we appreciate it. Have a happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy new year. All that good stuff. And we will talk to everybody in a couple of weeks in 2022. Uh, so go Goonie tunes. Go tunes. See you next year. Thank you for tuning in to Tune Talk.